What's up, YouTube? It's your boy King Supreme. Back in the video, we got the best Larry Bird versus Michael Jordan story ever told. Now, if you're new here, welcome to the channel, homies. Just be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share if you want to see more bangers from your boy. You feel me? Because the grind never stops. But hey, today, today we got some more Larry Bird and MJ. Very, very excited. Got a new video released. Um, I saw this one requested in the comments. Not too long ago and i don't think this video was too too old so y'all know any bird video any jordan video i'm gonna get to so we got both of them in this one so i'm gonna be excited to see how this one is um y'all you know saying two of the greatest players of all time in my opinion two of the top five players of all time in basketball so we're gonna see how this one is the best day birth is michael jordan story ever told this one's a little lengthy so grab your popcorn grab your snacks grab your fritos grab your chips any of that bro because we finna get locked and you understand what i'm saying so appreciate y'all for all the support all the love you feel me on those roads 250k so make sure y'all like the like subscribe Share all of that, bro, because you feel me? The grind does not stop, as y'all know. So, we're gonna see how this one is. Let bro Michael Jordan. Don't wanna talk too long. Get straight into this video. Grab y'all popcorn, grab y'all drinks. We're gonna get locked in. Let's get straight into it. Let's get it. James Worthy, who Let played against both Michael Jordan and Larry Bird, said, I'd much rather play against Michael Jordan than Larry Bird. That's crazy. Jordan made you look slow, but Bird made you look stupid. Mm. Look. I'm not here to convince you that Larry Bird is better than Michael Jordan. I'll just present to you the facts Spit it. and let the NBA legends who actually played against both of them tell you what they think. Spit the People facts. always ask Spit the me facts. who's the hardest player I've ever had to guard. And there was Michael Jordan, George Gervin, the late great Mike Mitchell. I mean, so many players. I always say Larry Bird, and I say this for the reason because when Michael passed the basketball, he kind of hung on his shorts and he sat off to the side. With Larry, when he passed the basketball is when he became more dangerous. He was either setting a pick, coming off a pick, catching the ball, passing the ball. So he was the one you always had to stay attentive to mm -hmm. the whole 24 seconds of that offensive play for mm -hmm. the Celtics. And you know what? Oh, he's going to get an offensive rebound. He was going to do something to help his team uh, have the best chance of scoring at that point. So I always say as him, he didn't need the basketball to affect the game. To the untrained eye, Michael Jordan was light years better than Larry Bird simply because his scoring numbers were better. But in actuality, it was much closer than that because Bird affected the game in so many ways. I saw Larry Bird one night in Phoenix. They would lose a big time at the half. And they come out in the third quarter, and Larry did not take a shot, but dominated the game. He had seven assists in the third quarter, and they came back and won the game. He could mm. affect the game without taking a shot. Who else can you say that about to that degree? Nobody. Michael could never do that. Never. Michael had to have the ball. Here's a 1986 mm. magazine on the NBA. He's a better and player remember, without the ball. This is a league with Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Charles Barkley, Isaiah Thomas, Hakeem Olajuwon, Moses Malone, and Dr. J. And in a league with all of these all-time great players, everyone agreed that Larry Bird was the best because in 1984, 1985 MVPs. and 1986, Larry Bird won MVP back to back to back. How hard that is. And in the 1986 be. playoffs, Larry Bird finally faced Michael Jordan head to head. And in game one, Michael dropped a spectacular 49 points. But Larry Bird had an all around game with 30 points, eight assists, six rebounds, three steals mm. to lead the Celtics to a victory by game. If you're a homeowner in Ohio and all around players, so think electricity, then I've got some Larry Bird's a better all around MJ player than Jordan. Revelation. And this is game two but, of the best um, of five first round. If you just talent wise, obviously Jordan, to make it two in a but row. all around, we really have to Bird. play a complete basketball game. I, I don't think one man can beat the Boston Celtics. I don't think one man can beat the Boston Celtics. But he sure did try because Jordan turned on God mode and broke the record for the most points ever scored in a playoff game. In the first half of the game against the Celtics Thursday, Jordan trying to 
Fake Bird can't do it. Hits the jumper, but I think Bird played pretty well defensively against Jordan. I know we started Dennis Johnson out on him, and then we went with uh, Danny Ames, myself, uh, with, uh, and Bill Walton. No one could kind of run him to help all the time, but he had his outside shot going so well that he really didn't need to penetrate that much. Jordan hits it, 56 for Jordan, and that ties the Chicago Bulls all-time leader, Pardon, with eight on the clock. Jordan. The game. Oh boy. 63 points, and you're looking at an all time record. Oh boy. Michael Jordan. But it was wow. an incredible, incredible 63 playoff points. points. I've never seen it before, and I had never seen it after. That wasn't Michael Jordan out there. It was God disguised as Michael Jordan. But Larry Bird left with the most important statistic of all the W. Ten on the clock. Bird, pick and roll, Paris. Videos like this really just give you a new appreciation for the, Boston for the talent to take a two to of the pass, you know what I'm saying? Over Chicago in their best of five. Shit crazy. Michael Jordan didn't beat Larry Bird. You show Michael Jordan going between his legs one time in the highlights, you know, against Larry Bird. And that was the game he got 63. That's when he dropped 63 on Bird. Yes. yes. But his memory serves me correct. Bird won. They got he lost. swept. No, they, not, did, not they swept, they swept they him. Swept. They did sweep him. Okay. <laughs> he, That's true. Even though he dropped six. How, yeah, how was I love, Stephen A. Cool, but how are you going to talk to someone who was literally there in time? Not that Steve, but like in the, in the basketball game, knew all about it, one of the best players at that time. How are you going to try to argue against what, 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 what IT talking about? Because IT knows some shit, bro. Come on now. We, we stepped all in his ass, did we not? <laughs> I rest my case. <laughs> Larry Bird went on to win his third championship that year. And the following year, when Larry faced MJ in the playoffs, it happened again. Side, Larry Bird against Banks, rubs him around a Perry screen, drives it down the lane and lays it in with a right hand. Michael Jordan with 30 points in this game, so he was 30 or better in all three playoff games. Bird's got 31 in the game and 14 in the fourth quarter. Bullseye. Boston has kept it in good hands in the fourth quarter. It's been Dang, murder, is that a and, cut? And that's about it. It's a sweat. Final score in Chicago Stadium. You can tell. The Boston Celtics sweep the Bulls out 105 to 94. Too much Celtic talent. Too much Celtic experience for a Bulls team lacking in both areas. Yes, Larry Bird in back-to-back -back years swept Michael Jordan in the playoffs. So if Michael Jordan is the greatest of all time, but Michael Jordan never beat Larry Bird, then what does that make Larry Bird? Mm. Now, to be fair, at that point, Michael Jordan didn't have his best teammate ever, Scottie Pippen, yet. Right. When Scottie Pippen arrived, the battles were closer and more intense. And later in the video, One man can't I'll the let team. you see exactly what happened when Larry Bird faced a prime Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen. Because Larry Bird did something so miraculously impressive, no other man in the history of basketball can say they've done. But after Bird swept Jordan back-to-back -back years in the playoffs, that very next year in 1988, Michael Jordan had statistically the best season ever. Wow. Where he won the scoring title at 35 points per game, the steals title, the MVP, the defensive player of the year, the all-star game That's MVP, and the that dunk contest. Insanity. He faced Larry Bird four times that year. And this is how it went. Game one, tough battle, Bird wins. Dang. Game two, MJ has a historic 50-point game to win by 10. Game three, Larry's revenge. After that previous loss, I'm sure Larry Bird had that rematch circled on his calendar. For sure. Because he ended up with 33, 8, and 7 and blew MJ out by 30 points. Game four. MJ had an Dang, impressive performance with 39 points and 8 assists. But Bird had 44, but Larry 10, Legend and 3. had 44 points and 10 rebounds. But most importantly, 
a win versus Michael Jordan in his statistically best season ever. And though Michael Jordan didn't face Bird again that year in the playoffs, Jordan did face Isaiah Thomas in the Detroit Pistons. And they lost, right? And I'll let Isaiah Thomas tell you exactly yeah. how he recalls that year and the rest of the 80s. So Michael Jordan in the 80s, the best year that he had was he was the MVP of the league and the defensive player of the year. I believe that was in 88. Yes. We 88. beat them four, we beat them four to one. Ooh. I'm going to say that again. Four to and one. MJ's they best won year. one game. And he never beat Larry Bird. He never beat Magic and Kareem. He never won. And all I'm saying is in the 80s, what I remember in the 80s, it was Philadelphia mm -hmm. with Dr. J, mm -hmm. Magic, yep. Kareem, Burt, Michael Jordan. He, he was a non-factor. A non-factor. Wow. Is this your goat? <laughs> but Is after this Isaiah your Thomas goat? swept MJ, <laughs> he did go on to beat Larry Bird in six games. And many people touted the Detroit defense for holding Larry Bird to under 20 points per game. Wow. But what many don't include in that story is that Larry Bird was noticeably injured with painful bone spurs in both feet. Oh yeah, my dog was injured so his whole career. only because of injuries. For the first time in five seasons, Larry Bird would not make the NBA Finals. Starting the following year, Larry Bird had season-ending surgery on both feet after playing only six games. But sadly, it only got worse. It was never the same after that. Because that following offseason, Larry Bird broke his back mm. and was never the same again. But even as Larry Bird... I love this story so far. Bird's entire body betrayed him. For some reason, he always played well against Michael Jordan, almost like he had a personal vendetta against Jordan. And I think I know why. When Michael Jordan was in college, he actually played an exhibition game against Larry Bird. Jordan and a bunch of college players, while preparing for the 1984 Olympics, faced Larry Bird and a bunch of NBA stars. The goal was to toughen the college kids up before they headed to the Olympics. So during pregame warm-ups, when Jordan chased the loose ball to the other end of the court, Larry Bird picked the ball up. But instead of handing it to Jordan, Bird kicked the ball over <laughs> Jordan's head to the opposite end of the I've heard court. Stories of he, I've and heard I, stories of he kicked it, he threw it, he tossed it. But I think it's he kicked it. Because kick, <laughs> man, that's crazy. Michael Jordan took that personally. Took it personally. Now look at Mars. Really? Oh, so that's how you gonna play it. You gonna do this? Okay, fine. That's all I needed. Take it personal. That's all I needed for him to do that. And it, it became personal with me. Mm. Michael Jordan dominated. I got an MJ team. took a personal video as a well today. Y'all gonna need to go Jordan check that out after this. Actually carried a team full of college players, past a prime Larry Bird and a bunch of NBA players. Michael Jordan won the battle. That's crazy. But Larry Bird won the war. Mm. I think Larry Bird took that loss personally because Jordan never really got the best of Larry Bird ever again. When Larry Bird finally returned to the court after missing basically an entire season with foot surgery and a back injury, he faced prime Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen in a regular season game. This was after The all teams went back and forth. Bagley against this Paxson, after all of his injuries. Block. Jordan on Bird, quick feed into Jim Paxson for the layup. Larry Bird is KO the read. Jordan oh! steal. Scotty Pippen ahead to Jordan. Michael for the dunk. Bird against Pippen. Bird working on Pippen one on one. Ooh. He hits the fadeaway. And with 10 seconds to go, it was a tie game. The Celtics had the ball, and the Bulls put their two best defenders, Michael Jordan and Scotty Pippen, both on Larry Bird, because everyone knows who the ball is going to. And then this happened. Let's see if they wind it all the way down. Inside Bird low, Bird low. 
You can double yet. Now you can quickly. First jumper. Good. That's crazy. Three point That's six crazy. seconds left. Larry Bird gives the Boston Celtics a two point lead. Everybody in this building had to know it was going to. Michael came over to help out. Celtics lead with 3.6 seconds. That's insane. Here, 102 to 100. A prime Jordan, a prime a game winning shot while being double teamed by both Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen, two of the best, best defenders. defenders of all time. Somehow the word clutch doesn't even begin to describe the greatness of Larry Bird when the game was on the line. But maybe a quote from NBA Hall of Fame coach, executive, and former player Pat Riley can explain. In an interview, when comparing Larry Bird and Michael Jordan's clutchness, Pat Riley said this iconic quote, if I had to choose a player to take a shot to save a game, I'd choose Michael Jordan. If I had to choose a player to take a shot to save my life, I'd take Larry Bird. Ooh, As Larry Bird was on his last leg and lot Michael right there. Jordan was starting his dynasty that should tell you in 1991, Larry Bird mustered up enough strength to battle MJ again in one of the last great duels between the two. Gamble came up with the steal. Here's Bird. Yes. He was met on a switch by Jordan. And there 69, Chicago 67. Jordan eluding a triple team. Reggie Lowe. They had some epic battles. This battle between two all-time greats came down to the wire. In overtime, it was a tie game with 0 0.4 seconds on the clock. Well, Bird's having the and best. The Chicago Bulls had the ball. Pippen now up to throw in four tenths of a second. Here it is, Jordan with the play. Yes! But it's way to go. He him. made that. Mike Mather said no. Did not beat the clock. Ooh, he almost had it. Right. After Jordan's possible game winner was waved off, Larry Bird on four straight possessions in double overtime did this. Jordan. It's great to hear all these coaches talk about they're really concerned as Bird gets <laughs> a little fade away. They're really concerned about the minutes building up. They want to be fresh going into the playoffs. Until Over the game. time, number two. Bird. Yes. Larry Bird heating it out. to go. In the second overtime. Bird with the fake through the foul. He's going and crazy. Hit. Forty-five to go in the second overtime. Bird fires. Yes. The crowd couldn't help but chant the name of the greatest player of all time. Wow. Shook his head and said, this guy's too much. And the chant of Larry Larry. Lee Brown beat John Paxson off the pitch. Imagine watching these games live. And the second overtime, and that will do it. Beat him again. The Boston Celtics in double. It's weird how both teams go through the, the same tunnel. It's like kind of awkward. If you really wanted to talk some shit, you could really do it right there. The Celtics held on to win that game. But that year, Michael Jordan won his first championship versus Magic Johnson in the finals, and his dynasty had officially begun. Larry and I were talking. And Michael walks in, and he says, "It's a new sheriff in town." <laughs> and we both hit each other like, "Well, he's not lying." <laughs> Larry Bird retired after that next season, but not before he took the court with Michael Jordan one last time. Except this time, it would be on the same team in what many would call. The dream greatest team. team ever assembled. The 1992 Dream Team. And rebounded by Jordan. Perez may have realized that's, that may be his best opportunity to get an open look in transition. Oh. 
Magic with the pass that misfired. Jordan with the behind the back save. Here's Burr. Yes. Oh, my. That was like that a shot perfect pass. Right by Michael Jordan. Blair, I hate that you retired. Thank goodness, I'm glad. I'm tired of seeing your face. Well, a lot of sad memories to me, but you know, I enjoyed you tremendously. I wish you a lot of luck, and I think you had a very wonderful career, even though you probably ruined a lot of my uh, successful games against the Boston Celtics. <laughs> That's respect. And I see you somewhere along the road, somewhere playing golf. Even though he dropped 63. We stepped all in his ass, did we not? <laughs> I rest my case. <laughs> NBA oh, wow. Hall of Famer Jay. He said scoreboard. He said scoreboard. What you talking about? He said scoreboard. Yeah, that was wild. Let me know how y'all felt about that video. That was crazy. Uh, that was a crazy story. Amazing. But let me know how y'all felt about it. Let me know any other reactions y'all want me to get to. And I'll get to more and more of them. But preach y'all for the love. Preach y'all for the support. I'm going to keep on rolling these videos out for y'all. You feel me? I know the grind doesn't stop. So I'll catch y'all next time. Be sure to spin it down below and give you a whole bunch of suggestions on what videos you want to see next. Love y'all. Like, comment, subscribe, share if you want to see more videos. Instagram's on the bottom of the screen. Also in the description if you want to hit me up, DM me, message me, do all that shit so I can keep on spamming these videos out for y'all. I appreciate y'all so much for watching. It's your boy, King Supreme. I'll catch y'all next time, homies.